Hello guys and Assalamualaikum. So this video is about Progress 1 for Project the IDS 123 Operating System. So this is your presenter for this video. I'm Fakia Binti Manusi with metric number B03191006 and I'm from the IDC S101. So for Progress 1, I will be showing you guys on how to connect using static IP address between server and client. So this is the description of project and the task. So considered uh, I'm working as an IT system integrator for the ITS123 company and my job is to set up the DNS and web services for my company network. So this is the network topology for private virtual network with host only adapter. This is Windows host machine and this is virtual Linux server. So without any ado, let's get started to open our virtual box machine. And then um, uh, for this project, I will use eBay Tactical. So click on setting here. Go to network and for adapter one, just let it attach to NAT which this is the default mode for virtual machine NAT stand for network address translation and you will connect virtual machine to external network using host machine IP address for external communication which in this case it will connect to uh, my windows so for adapter 2 click enable network adapter and attach to host only adapter as it is the requirement for the project and then click advance um, allow all and then click ok ok now uh, I will start my machine press the start button here this will take a few minutes Okay, after that, choose the user that you that you want to use. So I'll be using student one, and key in the password for the user. Okay, after that, wait for it to sign in into the term into the virtual machine, and then go to the activities on the top left, and then search for terminal. Okay, to view the available network interfaces in my system, I will use this command. So currently, um, available interfaces are NPOS3, NPOS8, and also LO. NPOS3 stands for... Okay, so NPOS3 here means that Ethernet interface one for bus 0 and slot 3. Why for NPOS8? It means that it is on slot 8. So is the loopback interfaces that used to access local host. Okay, before that, I want to show the IP address and also information about network interfaces in my different system. So I will be using IP address show command line. And here, as you can see, my MPOS 8 and also MPOS uh, 3 is not connected to, it's not set up to any IP address and also the HTTP. So before we set it up, I will I want to change the host name first. To do that, I'm using this command line. I will use I will set it as my new um, new host name, which is lin sr. These are actually there are two ways to change host name. The first is uh, temporarily. And second one, which is I'm using right now, is for permanently. So I will press enter. Key in the password. 
and then to confirm it to verify the changes for uh, I will use hostname ctl command press enter and now my current uh, hostname is lsrp so but uh, so now uh, but now you can't see any changes here to view the changes I need to close and open back the center so as you can see now the hostname already changed to the um, server to Linux server ok next I will configure Ethernet interface with DHCP IP address as, you, as the requirement for this project is to uh, set and post 3 as DHCP so I will be uh, so I need to enter interfaces file by using command nano slash etc slash network slash interfaces Ask for your password, so just type your password for student one, and here you go. You already entered the uh, file for internet, uh, network interfaces. To set uh, and post treat as DHCP, I'm using this command which is auto and post 3 I paste and post I net dish HCP ok I connect to here and post 3 as DHCP and to set uh, and post A as static IP addresses I am using this command here auto and post A and uh, static with these IP addresses and this network mask 255.255.255.0 as the subnet mask and the gateway uh, I set as same as the uh, IP address so after you do the, the uh, after you do the setting just press uh, ctrl o to save and then ctrl x to exit so I uh, so uh, we already set up for uh, for our uh, machine, virtual machine, to set uh, IP address for our host or our Windows, uh, go to the Windows setting, click on Internet Network and Internet, and under Advanced Network Setting, click on Change and that's the option. So here I will just click it to the right side. So click on the adapter that you use for your um, for your machine, for your virtual machine. So for the project, I'm connected to this uh, adapter with hashtag two, and then click double click on it and click on properties. Double click for Ethernet protocol version four or IPv4, and then set the IP address and subnet mask according to the according to the uh, requirement of the project here okay so 192.168.56.1 for the IP address and for the subnet mask it is saved with um, 255.255.255.0 and after you have done the setting click on ok ok and close it ok before we start ping our connection we need to turn off the Windows Firewall. So to do that, uh, go back to the Windows setting, click on Update and Security. Okay, and then click on Windows Security on the left side here. And then under Protection Areas, uh, click on Firewall and Network Protection.
Okay, as you can see here, the firewall and the protection for my Windows is currently on. So just uh, we need to turn it off for these three network domain private and also public. Just click here and then click off and yes. Alright, so do the same things for private and public. Click on their name and click off. Back and public network. Microsoft Defender Firewall and click off. Okay, so I have done it. Um, turn off the firewall for Windows. Close it. And then to test the connection. Okay, to test the connection, go to command prompt uh, for Windows. Go to command prompt. Just type CMD here and press enter. Okay, so for Windows, for Windows command prompt, we need to ping the IP address that have in the Linux, which is this IP address. Okay, so I just type ping ping one nine two dot one six dot ten and paste on it. And the connection is successful with zero percent loss. So to test for Test um, connection from a uh, virtual machine to the uh, the Windows. Uh, we need to ping uh, to the Windows IP address that we just set just now. Dot one. So we type on ping one nine two one six eight dot fifty six dot one and click on enter. So as you can see here, the connection is successful. They are receiving and sending the data. So that's all from me. Thank you for watching.